Hey, hi everyone. This is Mohit and welcome back to Ingenious Tech Up channel. So in this video, we will discuss interview question for automation test engineer, which is asked in the Fulcrum Digital Company. So this is the, you know, uh, one of the company and one of my uh, student, they have shared this questions and I will share you guys. Okay. So we'll go for that, you know, each question. <coughs> The first question is your tell me about yourself right so i have made many video for the top level of the you know mnc company and if you are experienced or if you are a fresher so first question is always tell me about yourself again how to represent yourself so i have already made the video for tell me about yourself if you are a manual tester or you are going as a experience level in an automation profile or if you are a non-technical guy and you want to start your career in your automation as experience so how to give that tell me about yourself so i have a complete playlist please stay with me end of this video i will tell you where you will get the proper answer as well so please stay with me so uh, this is the first question and you know if you will go for any profile so tell me about yourself and you have to speak properly so second question is explain your project so if you are a manual tester or if you are a automation test engineer so you have to tell about your project again the project means you have to tell your roles and responsibility and you have to tell what you know what is your roles for your automation work okay so you have to explain your framework then you have to also explain your domain as well okay so again i am going to tell you please stay with me end of the video i will tell you how to get the proper answer another interview question is if you are uh, <clears throat> planning to attend the interview at the experience level so you have to learn the framework so which framework you have used and what is your contribution so again just i will give you some brief about of this framework so basically we have a hybrid framework and my contribution is to maintenance the framework and writing the script Again, I'm not going for the depth because we have we have a separate video for how to explain your framework. Another question is your explain your framework structure. Okay, so in you know with the real time, you know we have a main folder, so we have a main folder and we have a test folder. Inside this, we have the multiple packages. So again, uh, you know I will tell you in the end of the session how to get the proper answer for all and you can prepare and you can explore and you can explain in front of the interviewer. Another question is how to handle the dynamic object, right? So you have to write the proper X path, you know, for handling the dynamic object, okay, because the element is going to change. So you have to use some condensed function and all. So like that we can handle the dynamic object. So in this video, I'm not going to explore all the answers because you know what will happen. I already made the many video for this uh, you know answer already. So you can just follow that video, and you know in this video, just I'm going to share the questions. So how many locators is there in Selenium? We having the eight locators. So I'm not going to explore. So this is very easy question if you are planning to switch as a automation test engineer. What is polymorphism inheritance? So again, you know, you have a very good knowledge in your Java skill set. So <clears throat> this is the core question. If you have a OOP concept, you know, we have a core question for that. Again, what is the difference between array and array list? Again, this is the Java question. Okay, you have to prepare. And end of the video, I will tell you how to prepare. <clears throat> sorry guys i think yeah what is page factory so while creating the form we have we are using the page factory class which is the part of selenium and which is <laughs> available in the selenium and we have a init element so the page factory is a class and init element is a method it will initialize all the object <clears throat> sorry guys <clears throat> So here, what is how to how to create form for ten pages? So again, you know, you have to learn page object class. So for every pages, we have a one class, separate class, and every separate class you have to initialize that element in the a specific class. <coughs> so, what is the CSS selector? 
okay so this is you know one type of the locator so if you are not able to handle sometime what will happen you are using xpath or sometime what will happen that xpath will not work then we can also try with css selector how to handle alert alert means alert pop up how to handle alert pop up right so alert is a interface in a selenium and inside this we having the multiple method like accept method dismiss method get text method and send keys method <coughs> sorry how to handle frame okay so these are the common question if you are attending the interview you should know each and everything first of all you have to learn properly basic selenium then you can move in the advance can you tell me uh, some exception in java and selenium again uh, you know in the java we have a different library of exception and selenium we have a different li library of exception okay so just we can you can just uh, you know make a list for selenium exception like the no such element exception in java file not found exception so just you can make at least 10 and 10 exception you know uh, make up uh, one notes for 10 exception for selenium and 10 exception for java and why we get this exception and how to handle this exception <coughs> another question is how to handle mouse over and keyboard operation so this is again common question i'm not going to in web page there is no id no or no <coughs> name and css selector and how to find xpath so you have to write the relative xpath then how to write the xpath you know uh, you have to write if you are learning selenium if you if you don't know how to write the xpath i will tell you in the end of the session how to get the answer for these all so that's all about of this question we have a 16 uh, questions you know which is already asked in <coughs> sorry this so uh, i will also uh, share this question in the comment as well okay so just you can go through in this youtube inside this youtube you could see like <clears throat> inside this youtube you we have an engineer take up channel just go to this playlist if you want to learn java so if we have a you know core java for selenium if you want to learn selenium just you can follow this playlist selenium web driver tutorial and you will get 100 percent if you want to you know how to you know i have explained in this playlist you know what the challenges you have faced what is your roles and responsibility what is your day-to-day -day activity <coughs> sorry and here how to explain your framework what the challenges you have faced in your real-time project so here you will get real-time interview question and answer and i have already made the one second guys <coughs> So here, that is the one thing and you can just, you can see, I have made the playlist. If you are attending the interview, you can take your interview yourself. So here you will get top level of the interview question, top level of the MNC company, which is already asked the in, in, in the interview. So I have made the video of like Oracle, NES, ITC. So please go through that. And second, uh, okay, that's all, you know, you have to learn basics then advanced level then you can just go through the real time interview question and answer then you can go through this you know top level of the mnc company so you will get the idea how to <coughs> sorry how to uh, you know uh, like you know prepare that so that's all about of this video and thank you so much and see you in the next video guys and please share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon so i'm trying to collect <coughs> top level of the interview question and uh, question and answer so if you are attending the interview at least you will get some idea which type of the question the company is asking as experience level so thank you so much see you in the next video